January 3rd, 2010. Uh, this is an AGU uh, meeting video, about 47 minutes long. Uh, we get into the question and answering, and Rodney Virick, an NOAA scientist, answers a question about the polar shift. We're short stop physics today. Uh, Earth loses its magnetic field a few times every million years. We're overdue for that now, I guess. How bad would things get for our technological society if our geomagnetic field went for a short time uh. to zero? We, we can only speculate, of course, and I think we can uh, hypothesize that there would be a dramatic increase in a lot of the energetic particles that are deflected by our magnetic field. And so there would be uh, potential for some serious damages to our technological systems. Other uh, space weather events might not be impacted. Uh, one of the concerns is what happens to the ionosphere during all of that. There are a lot of connectivities between the different uh, altitudes of space, and so I personally don't know exactly how it would be impacted. I'm only speculating, but I anticipate that certainly there would be a in larger influx of energetic particles uh, that would then uh, Listen to it's this. bound to happen sooner or later. It's happened repetitively over a millennia, and uh, sooner or later it will happen again. In fact, I believe that the North Pole is moving quite rapidly. The South Atlantic anomaly is also changing position. So there are indications that the internal core of the Earth is a very dynamic and changing environment. But I'm not sure that anybody's actually predicted when this next event will occur. That is crazy. I will attach the entire video below. Um, we are about 27 minutes into it.